the early evening hours of January 20th, 2023, officers responded to a residential burglary in the 1700 block of West 2nd Street. A witness provided a physical description of the burglary suspect, a black male with dark skin and high cheekbones, wearing a black hoodie, a black jacket, and a black skull cap, who left the area on a black bicycle. Officers learned that the victim's smartwatch had been stolen and that the victim was able to remotely determine through GPS tracking that the smartwatch was in the 1800 block of Hardy Street. Additional officers went to the location on Hardy Street where they observed a bicycle matching the description of the one used in the burglary. Officers learned from a family member that Burroughs owned this bicycle and that he was living in a vehicle on the property. Officers located the vehicle and observed Burroughs sleeping inside. They saw a handgun resting on top of the vehicle, which they secured in a safe location, while also discussing a plan to engage in dialogue with Burroughs. How do you know him? It's her grandson. There's a black light back there that she said belongs to him. Ma'am? Okay. Is, is the door unlocked? Is that gun loaded? Uh, unlocked? Okay, so move the gun to the, uh, at least to the trunk. And then we'll do on three. We'll just open that door and this door at the same time. Officers opened doors to the vehicle and attempted to talk to Burroughs. Burroughs was asked multiple times to show his hands and to exit the vehicle. Instead of complying, Burroughs pulled out a gun and shot at one of the officers. Five officers immediately returned gunfire. The following footage, which shows Burroughs firing his handgun and officers returning fire, was captured by the body-worn cameras of two officers involved in the incident. Again, I urge viewer discretion as this video does depict officers' use of deadly force. Leon, wake up, buddy. Wake up, man. Keep your hands up. Wake up. Sheriff's office. Wake up, buddy. Put your hands up so we can see him. Put your hands up so I can see him. I'll well, talk to you in a second. Step out. Step out, man. Step out. Can you get the lights out my face so I can see what's going on? Hey, Leon. Sir, can you get the lights out my face? They're out of your face. Step out. Leon, step out of the car. Leon, step out. Step out or we're going to pull you out. Step. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Cease fire! Cease fire! HQ shots fired by police. Shots fired for police. I've been hit. Start rescue 1068. I don't know. This second footage was captured by the body-worn camera of an officer who was positioned at the rear of the vehicle. In this footage, the muzzle flash of the gunshot fired by Burroughs is visible inside the vehicle. Leon, step out of the car. Leon, step out. Step out or we're going to pull you out. Step. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. HQ shots fired by police shots fired. Let me see your
One officer was grazed on his face by the gunshot fired by Burroughs. Officers immediately moved to a position of cover and began to provide medical care to the injured officer. Burroughs was still inside of the vehicle after the exchange of gunfire. Officers maintained safe positions around the vehicle until the arrival of the SWAT unit. With the use of specialized equipment, officers were able to safely approach the vehicle occupied by Burroughs. Upon completing that approach, officers learned that Burroughs had died following the exchange of gunfire. Inside the vehicle, detectives located the firearm that Burroughs used to shoot at the officers, as well as a shell casing. Forensic analysis confirmed that the located casing came from Burroughs' firearm, along with the smartwatch stolen during the burglary inside of the vehicle. 